With the anti-Wall Street protests in the fourth week now, demonstrators' voices are only getting louder and spreading wider, it seems. From coast to coast in dozens of cities, people have been taking to the streets to demand an end to the fat cat culture and economic inequality. Artis Marie Port and I are joined us now from the heart of the movement, New York. Marina, very good to see you tonight. Now, although we've seen some of these protests turn violent most recently, uh, with clashes with police and multiple arrests, the demonstrators nonetheless say they are there to stay, don't they? You've been in amongst them, been watching your report. Is there any indication of where, though, this is all heading? How are you gauging this? Well, Kevin, as far as where this is heading, this is, as you mentioned, gaining momentum because this demonstration, this group, Occupy Wall Street, has really mobilized a lot of momentum. And as far as the protesters vowing to remain and stay, that clearly was the case uh, this past weekend. There was a bunch of protesters camped out outside of the New York uh, Stock Exchange in Lower Manhattan, and one man was arrested because he was sleeping in the walkway. Uh, entering the New York Stock Exchange, and that was the single arrest. But there were so many people down there sleeping outside of it, taking part in this demonstration, that he only had room to sleep on the walkway. Uh, before his arrest, uh, the, the demonstrators hung up a sign on the New York uh, Stock Exchange building that said, uh, banks got bailed out, we got sold out. This weekend, we also did see uh, religious groups join this movement, members of the Christian, uh, Jewish, Muslim, Muslim clergy, uh, clergies in New York City joined demonstrators in lower Manhattan to support them in this ongoing uh, protest against uh, corporate influence over U.S. politics. Families were also bringing their young children down there to take part in this uh, ongoing demonstration. And there's a Kickstarter group called uh, Epic Step that has vowed to pay for an Occupy Wall Street billboard in Times Square if just 20,000 people log on to their website in support of this billboard. So that just gives you a gist of how large this mm. movement ha is growing, continues to grow. And, um, and as you mentioned, they're growing coast to coast. Uh, these demonstrations popping up all across the country. In Iowa, for example, 32 people got arrested over the weekend for taking part in an Occupy Wall Street demonstration. Now, of course, at the beginning, these rallies were largely ignored by mainstream media and politicians. Why did it take them so long to recognize the gravity of the story? Is it because the numbers of these protesters have got bigger, or is it because their message has become clearer and clearer? Are they doing a better job of their protests. I think it's both. I think at this point it's gotten so large that mainstream media in the United States has no choice but to cover it. They cannot ignore it anymore. And I think the tipping point was the arrest of nearly 800 uh, peaceful protesters on the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, but even, having said that, though, even the next day, the New York Times didn't give that story uh, much room on the front page. But now uh, m m mainstream publications such as the New York Times and sh mainstream media outlets in the U.S., are turning their attention to this movement because it is growing so large that they don't want to be the ones not covering it because all you know alternative news stations are covering the story it's growing bigger and if mainstream media doesn't cover it it's going to be seen as an absolute blackout and too many people at this point in the US too many Americans are involved for the mainstream media to simply ignore it any longer when Paul Naira in New York thanks for bringing us up today again on another big story that's uh, that's continuing where you are thank you Thank you.